<laughs> drums drums in the deep you look like i do when my two-year-old son wakes me up at 5 a.m <laughs> look right i already had a shower okay i just need a bit of time for my eyes to retreat from my eye sockets <laughs> my, my eyes are currently still hiding in my eye sockets my eyes look like you look like when your two-year-old son wakes you up <laughs> i already had my caffeine injection what's up and welcome everybody glad you could join me but i'm a little disappointed because last night when i had 4,000 viewers i said i expect each and every one of you to join me at this time slot at the very start and i can see now that only 10 percent of you listened it's very disappointing but you 10 percent, you're the top 10 percent. so there we go i'm here <laughs> all right uh vetoes just kidding anyway uh Loliot removes last refuge envy removes twisted meadows Twisted Meadows, one of the least played maps in the entire WGL. It is the most imbalanced, apparently, people feel, for either matchup. And the remaining five will be played. We're going to be starting with... No. Thern Isles. What's going on here? Just a friendly or a tournament? Yeah, just a friendly. Just a friendly. Oh, just a friendly, they said. Oh, can I have some fun games? Just a friendly? No! This is everything. We're gonna be playing for up to... We're gonna be playing for a prize pot of $71,000. With $35. $35 for first. It's kind of unfair, but at least you get a trophy. $17,000 for second place. $8,500 for third. And $4,000 and some small change for fourth place. Here are our placements so far the other players that have fallen by the wayside such greats as lynn foggy 120 focus and fly 100 percent the final four are still in and we'll be playing the two semi-finals that we are about to see starting things off with law Lyot versus envy what are your predictions i predict a night elven grand finals it seems almost too crazy when you consider how good of a race human is that there could possibly be a night elf and grand finals but i really feel like both lolite and moon are playing so well so are infi and th but lolite and moon are just playing incredibly and they are also the top two elo ranking in the world right now for the uh warcraft 3 esports scene moon being one lolite two the grand finals is also today we have four best of fives the double semis then third place then the grand finals i don't understand how are you not in this dirty i didn't try to qualify for it neither did happy so he's not in x lord and foggy did qualify and foggy got top eight x lord bottom eight Hi, predictions. Uh, I predict Lawliot to go 3 2 versus Envy. And Moon 3 2 versus TH. <laughs> I think we're going to cast a lot of games today. <laughs> Kendrick predicts humans both win for a grand finals with Human Mirror and then buff Undead to stop that madness. Grubby is beyond this league. He doesn't even try for less than $100,000. Ah. But you're the best. Why would you not qualify? Thank you, Mad Wasted. You're invited to my next birthday party. But I'm still not in this journey. <laughs> Just Sonic. Thank you for the sub, dude. Alright, here we go. We're gonna be starting things off with Keeper of the Grove. I've been looking forward 
to a keeper of the grove night elf versus human ever since foggy took infi to the brink on northern isles despite being down to one third of infi's food count pretty much the whole game i mean if you ever want to see someone nearly win with 30 food versus 90 i recommend foggy lolliot Foggy Infi, Foggy Infi on Northern Isles. So he started things off with uh, Keeper and Archers. Transitioned to a double Ancient of Wind right here. You see my mouse cursor, the little Windows cursor? He put two Ancient of Wind here next to Infi's base. And then he did a six Hippo Rider bust. Infi didn't really see it coming more than that he felt it coming, but his towers were too late. He held on by the skin of his teeth and then ended up with what should have been a very comfortably winning setup. Winning he did, but comfortable it was not. Foggy killed many heroes. I'd like to see Keeper and Archers go for the strat that Foggy transitioned to. Mass Archers, Mountain Giant, and many Orb of Venom with ranged heroes. Without the cheese, that kind of failed. Oh my god, I think Loliath went for an entangle on Archmage because Infi didn't pick up the item quickly enough. We didn't see this, but I think the mana pool supports it, as well as the positioning. Infi went for... Infi got entangled and Loliath moved forward, but he could not pick up the item because of the Footman Militia block. If it is true and that's what happened, and I think it is, 75 mana was practically wasted for Loliat, but for a good opportunity to try and steal the item. Beep, boop, no signal. Beep, boop, no signal. Kale, wochen, ka, wochen, ka, le, lag, kale, many lag. Alright. So I think that's what happened. Uh, and he couldn't get the item, and the item was. A potion. A uh, periapt of fatality. How do you know signal? <laughs> Game sounds up a bit. Um, so we are watching, of course, a clean feed. It's called a clean feed. It means that you're getting a non-commentated signal that does have game sound. This is a service provided by tournament organizers so that third-party commentators can piggyback off the broadcast. They are doing the observing for us. They provide the game sound. That's why the game is in Chinese. That's why we have the quality of production. I didn't join this game myself via Warcraft. But it can also be a bit of lag. It's still China signal all the way over to Europe, to Netherlands. And we haven't had lags like this, to be honest, since day one. We've had uh, six, seven days of broadcast. Yeah, seven days. And this is the second time this happened. We've had, I think, five to six gray screens that persisted for a few seconds, like this one. And to be honest, this is the worst lag we've had. It's the beginning of the grand finals. Just unlucky. I can't believe Grubby wakes up so early. Neither can I. Imagine this is <laughs> Imagine this is how Euro players played this whole tournament. Yep. Every time Foggy tried to save a hero, he sees this screen. He also played over clean feed. <laughs> Maybe lower resolution works without interruptions. I don't know if I can choose lower lower resolution to be honest. Yeah, let's get the lag out of the way now so that the games will be perfect later on. Yo, Racy, thank you so much for the eight months. Hope it's going well. Love your streams. Appreciate it, dude. So Keeper actually <clears throat> tried to go to the very brink with how much he got out of that harass. Because of the lag, I didn't exactly see... Excuses, baby rage! But I didn't exactly see how many peasants were killed. Three archers were brought low. But he had hidden them with uh, Shadow Melt. They don't. I don't believe that they died. Is this the grand final? Semi-finals. Like it says literally everywhere. 
Is Moon out of the tournament? No, sir. Not yet. We're just beginning the finals day. The Moon game should happen in about two hours from now. And the grand finals in about five hours from now. Yeah, let's talk about the weather during lag spikes. You must be Dutch. What is currently the Night Elf versus Human meta? There are a number of different strategies. There's Keeper of the Grove, Mass Archers and Mountain Giants, with Naga second, Bottom third, and Orbs of Venom on everybody. Oprah Winfrey, Orbs of Venom. Then there's Demon Naga Bears. And that pretty much covers it. Those are the two ma major strategies. Reset the stream grub. Honestly, I don't think that helps. I'm not going to add insult to injury. So archers here looking to snipe the arcane tower, which is uh, only just beginning. Other channels don't lag. Well, my channel also don't lag. I mean, I'll, I'll reset it, but I really don't think that's going to make a difference. I could create a bigger buffer, but... Alright, I've reset it. It does seem to make a really big difference. I don't remember there being Ancients of War here or the Naga being level 1.8. That's a really big difference. I was super far behind. <laughs> so Laliat actually also went with the cheese, not the hippo riders. Thanks for the tip, guys. The reset did work. Oh man, this is a really cool cheese. This seems like an earlier, stronger cheese than the foggy cheese, mass hippo riders. Ancients of war were built, and he's making more. Two already in the base, wreaking havoc together with force of nature. It's time for trees to rise up. Rise, my trees, and grow your roots in the foundation of civilization. More Ancients of War are coming. Nature's Blessing is here also. Great to have that bonus armor on all the buildings. Harum, Harum. Break stone and break bone. Extinguish the fire of industry. Yeah, this is looking good for Lolliot. An early victory could see him off to a flying start. Militia, peasants and footmen are dying as trees reclaim nature. Nature will rise against you. Panda second to try and deal with the archers, the ancients and the force of nature. That's a great. Defend upgrade is here, but the barracks has died. Look at the corpses. My god, is that what it takes for nature to rebound? Lolliot and the Night Elves mercilessly swatting down Infi before he could really start. It's so cool when a pro gamer comes up with a strategy that, like a cheese that actually works. It's where preparation meets execution meets surprise. Surprise! And the rest is history. Panda dies. That's it. 47 food versus 19. A successful opening cheese is so delicious. And you know what they say? Cheese leaves you feeling salty. It's a nice start. Normally, you shouldn't open up with a cheese in a best of five. People are so fresh to see it coming and respond. But when it's this tasty, I think it works. Some fries. What elemental is doing what he can. Oh, this is not second and third and fourth Ancient of War. This is Ancient of Wonders and the Moonwell. Look at that, wonderful. Just detonate the water elemental. Splish splash. No fire Evil breath TV on the panda. Still chasing the Archmage. I mean, he could suddenly decide to stop moving. Oh, Loliath went tier 3 during this. Ain't you a clever? Ain't you a clever one? That's cool. 
he didn't put all you his eggs in the egg carton. He's gone tier 3 at the same time. Keeper, by the way, nearly level 5, I imagine. Going for Entangle level 3. Dispel is neither here nor there, so it would definitely secure a nice hero kill. One more footman, but before that, GG. He sees the third hero. He realizes... Not even stabilizing would help him when someone is that far teched along the tech tree. Law Lion, what a game. 1-0. This is gourmet stuff. This is the special French cheese. That's that's from his... Of course, he isn't thinking exactly like that. I don't know what he's thinking about. He could be thinking about you know, anything for all I know. But there's nothing inherently wrong with his build-up as far as I could tell. It's different if you're like, ah, I forgot to make Footman for four minutes long. Or like, oops, I got my hero surrounded. You know, some of those blunders that can happen that can lead to a bad game. But it wasn't like that. This was just a really good stinky cheese by Loliath that led to him to clinch the neutral map between them. And if both players are going to be winning their own map choices, then the neutral map is the decider. It's really nice. So, here we go with uh, another map. The second map between Lolliot and Envy is going to be Concealed Hill. On Concealed Hill, I would say Night Elf can go for Warden, but it's not as likely. She does have Shadow Melt, Healing Fountain Control, but it's more likely to see Demon Hunter or Keeper of the Grove. Keeper. Thos Expansion and Mass Archers can be quite strong here. This is a good map for Archers because it is not easy to get flanked. The architecture of the map is Long Path number one, Long Path number two, and Long Path number three. Small choke in front of base, small choke in front of base, and all these things lead to very good Archer defenses. So Keeper is nice, he's doing it again. And it looks so strong in the one game where Foggy did it, even though he opened up with a failed cheese. Demon Naga, also pretty good here. But he will decide to go for a Keeper of the Grove. <laughs> Neely. Nearly AoE, doesn't have his homework. It was raining in his apartment yesterday and he didn't close the window early enough. There were some other people, probably, that had the same problem as you, Nili. It's been raining on a lot of people's homeworks recently in the last two days. However, not everyone is brave enough to admit it. So I'm glad that you were honest at least. What do you mean he cheesed him? Well, it means... In RTS cheese, I don't know why, because it's cheesy, I guess. Uh, it means a surprise strategy that probably doesn't work if it gets scouted. Cruelly effective at winning early usually, but relying on the element of surprise and therefore not repeatable. A, an aggressive tactic stops being a cheese so long as it starts working when someone expects it. That's pretty much the conditions for cheese. If someone expects it and is of the same level as you, scouts it or expects it, then it is not a cheese because they can stop it. But if they keep losing to it, then it is not a cheese. Then it's just an aggressive strategy, a rush, a counter. Wisp ready for the detonate. Gets the experience on the water elemental. 42 experience going to the night elf and more damage on the human units keeper comes in full mana mantle of intelligence ring and he goes to try and get the last hit but he does not get it infi gets it infi gets the item as well claws of attack plus six from the first camp ring of regeneration here effectively useless if you do not focus the archmage at all archmage level 2.7 one footman has gone down how many more victims will there be? Good focus fire on the Keeper. Infi loves that clause of attack. As well, he should. 
Great damage here. Force of Nature Treants going after the three peasants. Not a single one has died yet. That's about to change. One peasant has gone down. Two more are low. In comes a Wisp. Detonate. He can kill the Water Elemental, and he does. Gets the experience. More auto attacks attempts on the peasants, but Infi's doing a great job protecting them as well as cycling them into the gold mine to dodge damage. He can even go cut a tree to lose the bag of gold. Hey man, lose the bag of gold. It looks tacky. And then go back into the gold mine to save himself. Nonetheless, that peasant has gone down. This one goes into the gold mine. But the other peasant had gone deep indeed. Treant dies and Archmage gets level 3. I believe three peasants have gone down presently. And Infi sends two new peasants. Note how he's not summoning them as militia. He wants to be able to start mining as quickly as possible. Lolayet is now going to the shop and he's probably going to buy and sell dust. The overlay doesn't update quickly, so... Oh, there we do... Okay, he does buy dust, but he doesn't sell it. And why does he buy dust? It's not like there's invisible knights or anything. It's to deny it from Lolayet. Now archers can hide with their safety. He's to hide it from Envy, sorry. From Envy, of course. A bit daft hiding something from yourself when you know it's there and you can just see it. Archers can hide safely. He also has Staff of Telly and he's going to use it on the Keeper of the Grove. To the Moonwell. He's going to drop the mantle to get higher amounts of healing from the, fan from the healing fountains, from the Moonwells. And then pick it up again. What second hero shall we get? Naga. No Dark Ranger. No Panda. Focus was kind of cycling through the Tavern Heroes. Had Focus played more Orc versus Human, he would have probably gone for Pitlord eventually. And then Tinker. But Loliath with the trusty Naga Sea Witch. I don't see a counter expansion by Loliath yet. Don't see a Tree of Life. Keeper of the Grove level 3. Treants or Entangle level 3? Level 2. It's Entangle. Ancient of Wonders. Again. This time at the Tavern. Significantly farther back. How many hits does a Keeper need to do on a Footman to consign them to death? How many auto attacks? He did one. Is it enough? And will there be Ancients of War again? To break Infi. It looks like that was not enough, the one or two auto attacks. Gonna up the game sound a bit. I think about four hits, maybe. The footman survived, but was shot down by ranged archers. This strategy has also already made its way over to Europe. I've seen people go this ranged archer strat. But the exact adaptations in every situation are still not completely clear to me. When do you go for MG? When do you go for counter expand? When do you go for all in? For now, Loliath keeps rushing, keeps killing footmen. This does seem like a fun style to play, man. I feel like playing Night Elf again seeing this keeper of the grove untangling humans is my shiznit is my jam is there a melee archer strat uh, i don't know if unintentionally joking or just naturally funny but melee archer strat is only for noobs so he gone to tier three he's at 80 percent and he's getting a hunter's hole So not counter expanding, not cheese all inning either. Just going for strength of the moon, one attack upgrade, getting priestess of the moon with true shot, and getting marksmanship, the archer proprietary upgrade from the Ancient of War at tier three. He's trying to snipe the blacksmith, but blacksmith is the best building not to get sniped in the game. It builds fairly quickly. It's extremely cheap has a lot of health so the amount of health it gains per second from repairs and from building is uh, very high it doesn't actually build super quick but it does have loads of life so it's not easy to snipe and tangle on the archmage he has cloak 
he found this cloak later in life. And by now, Lalaya did already sell the dust. <laughs> Blacksmith is low. It's on fire, but these are not the, the forge fires. This is a unintentional fire. Healing spray alchemist comes out. What is a human to do? It looks dire. Marksmanship coming in. Probably strength of the moon also. Just using archers as siege. A few hits on the footman and then tangle will kill them. Going for the blacksmith now. How many rifles did he start? None. He's just making mass footmen. The blacksmith has gone down. So this is what it is, huh? Lawliath versus Infi, human versus Nido. Tier 3, rush. Mass archers have certainly been effective recently in Warcraft 3. Moon against 120 was almost 60% mass archers. Moon versus Lin, mass archers. Lolliot versus Lin, Mass Archers. And now Lolliot versus Infi. Mountain King comes out. Forces a TP out of the Keeper of the Grove. Infi is holding as well as he could. Kills another archer. Several archers have fallen. And a forced TP on the Keeper. It is inspiring to see how well Infi is holding against such a superior force. Strength of the Moon, upgrade level 2 is coming out. And there's an Ancient of Wonders and an Ancient of Lore that are here to make Mountain Giants. Never will there be a counter-expansion by Lolliath. How can man stand against such reckless one-basing? So I'm trying to consolidate this logically in, in, in my head about how this makes sense for you to be able to play tier tier three one base the whole game tome of knowledge the sacred texts like how does this make sense when one has an expansion but it's really the asymmetric advantages of warcraft 3 that is at play here on one hand a superior hero force and and, and unit tech on the other hand superior economy but infi is catching up he's going to tier three He's got his double barracks, he's got his defend footies coming out, and he's getting a bit of very valuable creeping in. But here are the mountain giants. But don't forget, Foggy yesterday versus TH. Oh no, Foggy against... No, Foggy against Infi. Foggy managed to hold on with one base versus three. For very long. One base versus three. He was... 40 food against 80 and he held on for so long why should you not be able to play one base against two the whole game i guess this game will answer it do you enjoy casting more than playing it asks Ro Rowie on thanks for the sub man and yes i do i don't notice it as much when i'm casting it i don't mind it as much Swords upgrades coming in now for footmen, for militia, for knights. I imagine knights will make things a little bit more difficult. Thunderclap now coming in. Thunderclap on everything. It reduces their movement speed, their attack speed, and it deals damage. So many footmen and militia coming in here. Did he call gold peasants as well? Dispel on the entangle, invil on the mountain king. Archers have died, but Lolliot's food is still holding strong. And Lolliot has the healing fountain to fall back on. You should see the healing fountain as a pseudo expansion as well. Why? Because it is giving free healing when normally you would need to spend money on it. <coughs> or just Moonwell's lol. But still, it will cost more money in clarities on alchemists and so on. Mountain Giant trying to break a barracks. Mostly Lolliot is trying to find 
avenues to attack where there aren't really that many. Dispel the knight. It does look like Infi is stabilizing. Keeper of the Grove has no way to get out. He staff on the Naga. Staff on the on the keeper. And no bolt yet to save her. That was a sick escape. Mountain Giant to plug the gap to prevent the surround. He heals himself. He knows he can't get out. He will try. But he gets killed off. Lolite with 700 gold and still no counter expansion. I opened my mind for as wide as I could to believe in Lolite's game plan. As I opened my mind, I started believing in aliens among us, lizard people, and flat earth. But I'm starting not to believe this anymore. I realize now it's all been a big laugh a big random Facebook post that it is okay to go tier 3 and no second expansion against a non-stop expanded human. <clears throat> as soon as I saw the 700 gold, I thought, okay, I've been had. He should have put up a tree of life, gone back, cleared a mine, and then expand. Or maybe the biggest laugh yet is yet to be had, and it will end up working. After all, Expansions don't kick in immediately, and it's already a tenuous hold on the game for Law Lyot, who is looking like he will, wants to creep the Ogre Lord, and he goes for it. But Infi is hot on his heels. Infi comes up the concealed hill and sees him. Orp of Venom Alchemist, Orp of Venom Keeper. And Law Lyot runs. One archer goes down. What are his archer upgrades like? 3 0, presumably. As Lolliot makes a run. Ironically, not for the hills. Usually when people make a run, they make a run for the hills. But that kind of sucks when someone chases you off the hill, doesn't it? Like, you would just go straight to the point you don't want to be at. A run off the hills. Mountain King gets level 3. And Thunderclap level 2. Paladin picks up Divine Shield. And Lolliot starts to creep as much as he can. He had to the first fountain, I believe, right? Yeah, he had fountain number one. Gets fountain number two. So easy to kill that Drake. And he had the Ogre Lord. So all the big creeps went to Lolliot. He's getting a lot of experi experience as well. Yeah, it's all going downhill when you can't make a run for the hills. Lolliot gets level 4.6, 4.1, 3.3. And I think his major saving grace is going to be mass focus on heroes. With mounted giants to buy time, he probably just needs to focus heroes. But he's going for the knight. The advantage about going for units is that you reduce the enemy's threat ratio quicker. It's easier to kill a knight than a hero. He gets the first knight. Keeper getting focused, but in a good position. With alchemist walling off. In come the wisp. Detonation on priests. Removing inner fire. Mana. And removing paladin mana. There is almost no mana left on any of these priests. No dispel. And no healing. This is a good fight for Lolliot. Healing spray to offset the thunderclap. Mountain King getting focused and it goes down. Down. As mountain giants drop low as well. He has a staff. <laughs> Psych. Mountain giant lives. A wonderful choke position for Lolliot to fight at. But now, who is this better for? Knights with Sundering Blades, 2-1 upgrades, and Fountain Healing. Nonetheless, get shredded like old useless documents in the document shredder by the archers. But they're starting to win out. They've closed the distance to the archers, trying to kill the knights. Trying to kill the mountain giants, but that's a bit of a laugh, isn't it? Knights also heal a lot from the fountain. This is a percentage-based healing fountain. So the higher the health, the better it is. Priests have gone down, now going for the archers, but the taunt is so disruptive. Paladin getting focused on the cusp of Archmage's TP! Fork lightning! But he lives. In fee. <laughs> Fought archers with knights at the fountain and lost. As Kael'thas would say, you gambled and lost. <laughs> no, that's not his laugh. He, I can't do his laugh. 
It's crazy. Tier 3 knights with inner fire struggle against mass archers as much as bloodlust torrents. <laughs> Next, I want to see Unholy Frenzied Abominations. Unfortunately, there are no undeads left. Look at this. Mountain Giants and Heroes on the front line. There's four Mountain Giants. With mass archers bringing up the rear. These Mountain Giants have no upgrades besides their racial ones. Zero, zero. And yet... They are out tanking inner fired knights with 5 plus 2 is 7, quick math plus 5. 12 armor knights die so much faster than 0 armor mountain giants. LOL! Mm. <laughs> now, Lolaya did clear one of the gold mines, but not the mid base yet. Not the. He didn't take the mid base yet. Nor did he clear his expansion. And it seems like he will just wait till the mains run out at about, what, 21 minutes? And then he'll move his Tree of Eternity to the expansion. There is a downside in that. It's going to be slower Staff of Preservation healing mechanics. Force of Nature. Going into the worker line. Bringing Wisps so that he can remove the Priest Mana again. This is something that remains important against oh, this is not the best position for lolias not as good as before does he have a tp no in come the wisps on the casters once again mountain king in the back line he needs healing spray where is the alchemist it's here does it have mana pot still no this time clap is gonna be huge naga got focused as well mountain king going ham in the back line Getting focus and tangle level three, heal spray. There is one more clap and he casts it during the heal spray. Mountain giants with a massive wall and tangle focus on the mountain king. One more holy light. Mountain king dropping low. Is there a staff? I told you to get his staff. And he falls. Mountain king is dead, but <laughs> if this isn't the scariest trap I've ever seen, Six knights with inner fire. Upgrades. They're shredding. They're sundering. Shields will be shattered. Armor will be broken. Fork lightning comes in. Naga is back. Staff on the alchemist. Keeper staff out. Archers hiding. They're gone. It was a TP. Oh, Sykes didn't believe me. All the archers are getting slaughtered. Envy. Ah! <laughs> Envy. It looks like he's done it. Two versus one base now one versus zero as infi is 72 food against lolliot's 39 man you know if you were randomly very good at warcraft and you knew the exact builds you had to play randomly but you had never ha played a game of warcraft and you would play like infi against lolliot now you'd be so surprised that Lolliot is still in the game, that it's so hard. It's like, I mean, I don't know this game, but I got my 71 food. I got my expansion to one night. I read the manual. The Sundering Blades should be doing really well against Archer and MG. Uh, doesn't make sense how this turned into a game. But of course, Infi does have experience with these games. He does know how dangerous this is, how crafty. The Night Elves are. How dangerous Lolai it is. GG! Infi wins his first map against the rank 2 ELO player in the world right now. 1 1. We'll go to map 3. We've got a match on our hands. How big is Warcraft 3 Esports still in Korea and China? In Korea, Warcraft 3 Esports does not exist almost. It is about the size of Heroes of the Storm Europe Esports scene. Um, and then in, in China, Warcraft 3 Esports is everything. 
is big, but it's not nearly as big as some of the other games like Arena of Valor, which is the uh, mobile MOBA, and PUBG, and Warcraft 3 Esports is more niche, but in China it is still extremely popular. Uh, um, I mean, there were d tens of millions of Warcraft fans, Warcraft 3 fans in China. Tens of millions. That, that kind of love doesn't just vanish. Could you explain why Ara level 3 and not Water Elemental level 3 on Archmage? Yeah, he wants many thunderclaps. That was his main key spell. And not only that, he wants to bounce back as quickly as possible after a mass detonation spree on his priests. This spell is very important for the priests against Entangle level 3, against Force of Nature. And Stormbolt is interrupt on Healing Spray, very important and Holy Light to save his Mount King. A slightly stronger Water Elemental is not worth the same as a double Arcane Sanctum empowerment together with his hero empowerment. I wonder if the Chinese liked Reforged? No, they did not. They were as surprised as we were. Wow, Lalai just did an esports head shake outside of the game. Interesting, I wonder what it means. I usually don't see it with such delay. Amazonia next. This is uh, Lolliot's first go-to map when things get sticky, when he got in danger. Not easy to expand here. Against the Keeper and the Archers. <coughs> but what unit takes the place of the Mountain Giant, save Orcas? <coughs> yeah, it was a preparation, preparation head shake. That's very different. That's why I asked, what does it mean? Because I think if... Uh, if you do it during the game, it's an esports head shake that shows an annoyance at what just happened. But if you esports head shake in preparation, I feel like it's almost more like a dog shake. Anyone that has a dog knows this. Well, many people. When you take a dog out of one mentality into another, they do a shake to change mindset. It's a refocusing. If, if my dog sees a rabbit and is thinking of chasing, and I'm like, nope. He'll shake, and then he'll think about other things. If he doesn't shake, he's still thinking about it. The refocusing. I think that's what Lalaya did. Nice lightning shield creeping. Yeah, shaking off a thought. We might see a new build. My dog shakes her head when she was nervous. And my dog shakes his head when there's a fly on his face. My dog shakes when he's on the conveyor belt. Immediately fast expansion by uh, Infi. He went straight for the rock column. Not for the laboratory first. My dog shakes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, the Ancient War was about to die, but you should never lose it. You can always attack something else. Infi doesn't have the uh, gold to expand yet. He's actually deliberately prioritizing bonus peasants. He just went to 29 food uh, and footmen. 
Whoa! Hello! <laughs> and, you know, why not? Later on, it's just gonna get detonated away anyway. <laughs> A primal cry to start things off with. Hoorah! Roared peasants. Plus one. Five to six damage. Plus one. Can I be your plus one? Two new peasants come in in the form of militia. Alpha cry. It's so funny, like... <clears throat> by the time the Night Elf gets here, there is not even enough money to expand. That's how much I Infi expects this harass. That's so funny. He doesn't have enough money to expand. The whole peasant walk around that is necessary to preserve lives literally ends as he has enough money. LOL. So he starts to expand, lost a few peasants, and Loliath has gone back. But Loliath didn't make a lot of units yet, and it's because he made a Hunter's Hall. He is at tier 1, double inch in the 4, and is massing Huntresses. And as much as I wondered why he didn't do that on the other maps, why people don't do that in general, because that's my go-to, to go to Mass Huntresses, he's doing it now. Small map, no Archmage level 3, and actually... I don't think he should feed Archmage to level 3. The way he plays his Treants, there is... Almost no way that he doesn't get Archmage level 3. He needs 3 Treants to get to 3. He's got 1. And he's detonating Archmage en masse. That was 4 Wisps. And he's checking for Ancient Protectors. Infi knows. Uh, of course he's seen the Hunters. Oh, that Wisp goes down. Ouch! And that's level up! That's level up! He has enough mana. Soon. For a Water Elemental. Infi knows there's no way a Night Elf would give up 4 Wisp Detonate unless this is an all-in. All he needs is to power build a Lumber Mill, to power build towers, and to get so many Guard Towers out. I think this failed already. I don't know where it failed, but I think it did. We're still gonna make it to 7 Huntresses. There's even more wisps. Do you see them here on the minimap where my cursor is? There's more wisps here. Five wisps have gone down simply to deny mana on the water elemental spamming guy, on the Archmage. There's a guard tower coming up in the main. Infi creeping more to get access to Goblin Shredder. You know why? So that he can send all the militia without running out of lumber. He may not get it now, but he wants to have access to it. Detonate on the Archmage. Huntresses going for the peasants. This reminds me of Creolophus versus Sky. WCG 2007. Is the Ancient of War close enough? No, it is not. Not close enough to the laboratory. And he has no Wisp there either. But he's hiding his own Huntresses against the militia and footmen. A straight up fight. Huntresses do slightly better when they can kite a bit, using their superior mobility. Infi's at 48 food, two Ancient Protectors coming up. For now, it's all Huntresses. If this cannot be broken, he needs to transition to Glaive Throwers. But I feel like oftentimes by that point, it has already been lost. The next Water Elemental will be huge. Actually, it will be about level 2. But I mean, its impact may be huge. Water Elementals are amazing at attacking Huntresses. Piercing versus Unarmored. Boom! Zap! And Shred. In comes the Shredder. AP's finish. No Militia right now, they're going home. But the AP's rebuff the Shredder. Infi is trying to hold this base. He's getting a guard tower, it's halfway here. And he needs Arcane Vault, and he needs a Zeppelin. Lolia tries to go for the Shredder. He has no time to go back to his Moonwells to heal. More farms coming out, in any haphazard, whichever way, and position. 
Is that an arcane vault I spot over the trees there? Here's the zeppelin. Archmage ferried over the trees soon. Gets a regen scroll and will give two regen scrolls to his archmage. And a clarity, I think. Maybe double clarity, double regen scroll. Yep. And he, use, he can use a clarity and he did. And he goes in the zeppelin and he comes over here and he will regen scroll all of his stuff while hiding from the AP, which has splash damage. So he would lose too many. Shredder doesn't get that healing. Eight Huntresses. He doesn't get it. He's like, I don't know what all this healing is about. I prefer repairs, to be honest. Keeper now coming in for the cancels. Minus one, KKW. Minus two. Minus three. And there is another regen scroll available. It's defend upgrade here. He didn't need it against Huntresses, but he may need it against Ancient Protectors. 37. Actually, Protectors, do they do normal damage or piercing? Don't they do piercing? Yeah. How come it looks like they do normal damage? Oh. Uh, did he click an Ancient of War instead of the AP? I just saw 37 to 47. I think that's Ancient of War. Yeah, he must have... But they're not uprooted. Yeah, he clicked... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, he clicked an Ancient of War. I don't know. I didn't even see him click Ancient of War. Anyway, Militia come in. Shredder ferried back to the main base. He's attacking the town hall. He's going for it. It's enough. Enough. Defend footies are here. Militia are coming in. And he pulls back. Infi pulls back. All the militia are like... Here to defend. But the Huntress's splash damage is incredible. <laughs> Women and children first. Women and children. I'm a woman. No, you're not, Jeff. Get all aboard. And it looks like Infi will try to fall back on one base. Blood Mage comes out. Flame Strike, maybe? Or is he gonna. Actually, Flame Strike is not traditional. It's usually siphon mana for more water elementals. The thing is, though, even though he loses his expansion, Infi's still in the lead, I think. Since he got tier 2, since he now has infinite water elementals. No pun intended. He can just hold on one base. Guard tower, arcane tower. And many water elementals. Yeah, he lost his expansion. Lolai had never had one. Think of the expo as a forcing of your opponent to go for a damn crappy army. The worst units against human in general for Night Elf are Huntresses, Glaive Throwers, and usually Dragon Hog Riders. Keeper will get level 5 at some point. Tranquility is going to be needed. When Creolophus surprisingly defeated. Oh, he killed the Huntress because he. Why did he kill his own Huntress? Maybe he already emptied his own Moonwells. I thought maybe he wanted to get a second hero. That was mean. Anyway, when Creo beat Sky, he had Demon Hunter solo so that he could get Metamorphosis. Level 5 has been reached. There is a TP on the Archmage. She was weak. I meant fairy dragons. Yeah, Night Elf doesn't have hippos. APs coming in. Mortars here. Mortars are great against Huntresses and APs. But I wonder if Lolite is transitioning. Can he? Bears? Dryads? Fairy dragons? It's one versus one base, and we haven't seen any new Huntresses for a while. Chimera? I can't make sense of this. Either it's Mountain Giants or it's Chimera. Bears, he would have made four food investments already. They're not looking at the base, are they? What's that? A lure. Okay, it's Mountain Giants. 
Heal the ones you have and make the ones you want. Love advice with Lolayet. Family advice. And one more auto attack. <laughs> Got him. Thanks for the uncommon stream schedule. Hey, my pleasure. Thank you, Clavito. Water elemental. Oh, that was. <laughs> he cancelled his own healing spray. Because I can tell you why it happened. He hidden all his. Uh... Normally, when you take your hero and your huntresses that are in the same group with each other, when you move all of them while you're heal spraying, it doesn't cancel your heal spray. It only cancels your heal spray when you only move your alchemist. He didn't expect that to happen, but it actually happened because he was hiding all of his huntresses from the uh, water elemental. So. Only Alchemist was selected, so he gave a move command after heal spray. Detonate failed. Two lore, tier three. Cancel on the expand. And Lolaya TPs. A big TP in on two mortars and ma mass footies. Two mortars, mass footies, and two priests. And very importantly, a Zeppelin with some excellent positioning by Envy. Has a lot of mana on his blood mage that he just partially stole. He can flame strike and he can make water elementals. In comes the force of nature and tangle on the blood mage. Focusing just about anything he can get his hands on. Lolliot wanted to get his mountain giants out. Flame strike is huge. Do not walk into the fire, Frodo. That's for the ring only. The first unit from the Lore is coming out. Is it a mountain giant? No, he's going bears. Master call training is on the way. One bear is here. Mortar shooting at the lore. He empties his gold mine and starts working on repairing the lore. Sapper. No, no sapper. Shredder coming in. Master call training, 90%. Shredder attacking fussies. As mortar try to get in close with the mortars. Wow, great casting. As bear and huntresses try to get in close with the mortars. Flame strike. And everything is getting away with the zeppelin. Siphon on the keeper. But the damage output is not bad. Now there's a Naga Sea Witch. Frost arrow. Oh my god! He kills the zeppelin. Is there TP? There is. He has the TP now. Mortar! Infi. <laughs> this attack. But he has an expansion. He counter expanded during all this, but the five low huntresses are attacking. How many players do you think would have had the presence of mind to send away the five huntresses to recheck for the expansion the second time? Not many, I think. You may think that many would have done that. But I will say, I think you might not be correct. As much as you think that, I am not sure I believe you. That this would be the case. Hmm. Yeah. Star-shaped would have? Possible. You might be right. You might be right. Two attack upgraded Huntresses. With two bears and <laughs> half a life shredder. And he went double shop. I don't know if it was contingency strategies or if he actually wanted two shops uh, to, uh, to survive. But he has two orbs of venom. That's the result of it. Not bad. As Lolaya tries to get a creep camp. The creep jack. Flame strike on all the bears. The shredder and the huntresses. Was it a creep steal as well? It might have been. I don't know. The Shredder drops low. In goes Lolliot. Fearless, I don't know, but necessary, yes. He goes for the Archmage, who has double cloak. Archmage, pick up! He died! He died! Arch 
Archmage died inside the Zeppelin from Acid Bomb and Poison Ivy. Orpo Venom and Acid Bomb. Orpo Venom can never be lethal, but Acid Bomb can. And together, they provide a poisonous power too terrible to withstand. Is there a staff on the Naga? No, she falls. Keeper level six, though. The Archmage died in the Zeppelin. No TP, no invo. And I think he had the money for it. He just didn't know if it was going to be necessary. Wow, putting the bear in the Zeppelin and then not leaving? That kind of sucks. That's not very nice. Archmage rebuy from the tavern. Lol, I had down to 33 food. And Infi's expansion is here with double guard tower. Blood Mage, level 4.3 now. Despite the Archmage loss. Lolayet's losses were significant and probably prohibitive. Archmage comes back out of the tavern with no mana, but he can siphon to give him water elemental mana. Altair gets killed. Naga Sea Witch cannot come back this way. She has to choose a different route via the tavern. The only way that Heroes of Might and Magic players can buy their heroes unless they get it from a creep camp via the tavern naga is back no mana but has orpo venom tranquility three bears as the keeper remains behind to heal all right everyone is full but only 38 out of 40 food moonwells every position that he could <sighs> Infius 50 foot and goes tier 3. A power play that is reeking of confidence. This Lolliot has a mana potion. A potion of 12 seconds invulnerability that he picked up. And now goes for this camp. What does he want? What do you want? <laughs> what do you want, Renegade Wizard? Where are you going? He would want Scourge Bone Chimes? Oh, that's pretty good too. Devotion Aura. Might be better, actually. Yeah, it's better. It's better. Prevention better than cure. <laughs> you know things are bad when there's fog of war in your base. <laughs> he can barely see his own base. It also proves he doesn't even have ultra vision, right? I think so. Yeah, you can buy back from Tavern without Alter. Three bears. Three bears, three heroes. Level six, three, two against five, four. Lolite is a warrior for holding on. So, what is the conclusion? Why does mass AOW, ma mass huntresses, not work against human? I'd say because once they fall back to one base, they can still beat your ass. And the expansion was a bait for you to make the worst unit against human. Wouldn't there be a remake of Altar? Yeah, he's already remaking Altar. Infi gives this a lot of respect, man. It may not be over yet. He loses the Altar in the front pretty much. He's remaking one at the back because he wants to get his third hero. I think Paladin. He cancels. Sorry, he cancels the Altar in the back and makes the Paladin from the burning Altar. I feel like heroes that come out of a burning altar should be slightly stronger. They've survived this much. Breaker drops low. They take so much damage. There's a mountain giant also. Here's a flame strike. Tranquility. <laughs> you know what? I think Lolayet actually has a winning setup. There's like one person in chat that's like, of course. It's tranquility, man. Didn't you know? Double Staff of Preservation. You can only save two bears. 
Mountain James can probably just walk away. Imagine Tranquility was actually buffed. I don't have to imagine it. It did happen. Is there another staff? Yeah. I think Mountain Giant doesn't have resistant skin yet. The reduction of damage against Flame Strike and the reduction of duration from slow and snare and so on. Oh, it is Mountain King third. He wants Stormbolt. Knight gets staffed. How many Sanctuary staffs are there? One. It's on a long cooldown. Stormbolt available. Alchemist has Invul. Uses it. He blocked the Stormbolt, didn't he? The Mountain Giant has no resistance skin. Has to walk away the old-fashioned way. Another Tranquility comes out. <laughs> Red Juve, Tranquility, and Staff. This Mountain Giant is fine. But he goes to the Tree of Eternity. At the Natural. Militia come in. Infi has 72 food. He never stopped mining. Why would he? When it feels so good. Militia come in. Militia, David, and Goliath. But that's a lot of Davids. Finish him! Finish him, he's 24 life! Come on then! Ah, uh, what elemental finishes him? Towers. Staff can no longer be effectively used when someone is picnicking around your tree of eternity. The mountain giant is gone. The beast is dead. And there's full mana on the priests. They can go for dispels as easy as you can say A, B, C. One priest getting focused and dies. Bear goes down. Infi. Seems like he has done it. Can he close it out 2 1? Naga gets the town portal. The Staff of Preservation. Focus fire on the Archmage. Bolt on the Keeper. Keeper. Dropping low. Dropping hard. And GG. Infi takes the 2-1 lead. Very nicely held. The expansion has gone down. But he fell back to his main. Marshaled his forces and survived. Great game. Good counter too to go for mortars and priests. Many humans may have felt like they could just go for mass rifles. The earliest, quickest thing that could maybe save their expansion. Double barracks rifles. And it would have been an entangle fiesta. Vamos a la rifleman defo. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Map number four between Infi and Lol Lyot. Lol Lyot just tried a Huntress all-in on Amazonia, transitioning from one archer, a few archers actually, into mass Huntresses with a double inch protector push. The expansion was broken, but the spirit was not. Infi transitioned to tier three with Mortars and Priest. Although I cannot independently verify this, I do believe it's probably true. One of the viewers in this chat just said that in the pre-game show, Infi mentioned that his macro is among the best or the best in Warcraft 3. He's usually fairly humble, but I do believe that this is true. His micro is good as well, but he's especially known for great strategies. Loloyet now on Ternus stand busts out a hero he has thus far not. Warden. I'm very curious to see how his Warden will compare to Foggy's Warden. Foggy having played Warden against both TH and Infi. Against TH in the group stage, Foggy's Warden got level 8, I believe. 7 or 8, with his Tinker being level 3 or 4. It was a game that TH was winning for the better part of it because he put so much pressure on Loliath's Moonwells. But honestly, it got to the point where Loliath was 3 versus 2 base against TH. 
and saved up on 50 for so long as th was using siege engines to disrupt uh foggy's uh, defenses and foggy had the three versus two base set up and then got supply blocked at 60 food because he didn't make enough moon wells despite having money and wisps available and then the big attack hit with six knights and a few breakers nice Oh, Lolliot with the deny. Oh, huge reaction from him as well. He's talking to himself. He's tilted. He did this face. My God, what a big reaction. So what happened is... He fan of knives, four low HP creeps. And it will get him level 2.1. But he accidentally he last hit one of them with his Ancient of War, I believe. And that really disrupts your game plan. This happened to Foggy as well. And in, in a little bit of a different way, there was more pressure from the human. He may not get level 3 on time now. So Foggy, Ancient of War crept the camp. If you look at my mouse cursor, right here, he Foggy, Ancient of War crept this in, uh, camp against the age. And it was working out really well. He got high level and good item from it. And it's kind of a mind game. Like, it's a special creep route that works especially for that situation. And it got him on really good footing with TH. But then he did the exact same route against Infi. And Infi just finished his creep camp at the natural, immediately went over the bridge and destroyed the warden. And never let him get level 3. He disrupted the creeping. Lolliot should be level 2.8 or 2.9 right now. And I assume he has a plan to get level 3. Oh, he's using his hidden warden to see if Mountain King will leave. He wants to know if Mountain King will leave. What if Human now stays tier 1 and tower rushes with 2 time mercs? That has been done before, but only when Night Elf quickly fast expands. Counter expands. So this is the plan for level ups. For Laliat. When Moon throws up a Warden Tree of Life counter expansion, that's when TH in the past has gone for a quick tower all in with mk3 mk was leaving at the bridge warden goes in doesn't have fan of knives level two yet but will very soon as the units of the ward oh the blink oh uh, another big reaction from him his blink got interrupted by a storm bolt and he is not level three yet did he kill more creeps with the ancient of war Infi's ID is very interesting. Isn't Infi's idea ID I want many claws of attack? That was a good fan of knives though. Despite all the mental reactions, all the tilts by Lolliot. Despite all the creeps he may have lost. He still got double fan of knives to get five peasants. Yes, I want class of attacks. Yeah, Infi's uh, account guys on the Chinese server, his main account is I want class of attack. There's a lot of funny names there on Netty's battle platform. Ancient of Wonders, double lore. Tree of Life. At the 1113 camp location. The Mountain King is used to keep the Night Elf in their base. It's like a football slash soccer match where one striker has the ball and the goalkeeper runs forward to close the angle of a striker aim right like if the goalkeeper stays on the goal line 
And you've got this big space on both sides, but if he comes forward, it narrows the gap where he can shoot the ball. As a professional football player, I found that to be an analogy I had to make. So Infi is coming forward to reduce the striking distance Lolias can enact. Ancient of Wonders, Moonstone. What the else does he pick up? Staff of Preservation. Lolias is very low on lumber. What he needs is Goblin Shredder. But Infi doesn't want to give him that. Another blink interrupt. Lolias with it again. An esports head shake. Actually, he did the, the semi tilted lean. He was like, ah. So he's trying to bolt dodge the, with the blinks and it didn't work. He's so tilted. I feel like Infi has already broken him. No reaction this time. When you tilt your head, you're tilted, yes. Physically. So, human is fast expanding every game against elf now. Oh, nature's blessing finishes. I guess Lolite has been pumping wisps because it's not like he has access to Shredder yet. Warden is level 4.2. Not bad. There's the second age of war helping out the tree. Since he's using the tree, he should root the tree of life instantly. There we go. He wanted to. Thought about it. Now he should root the tree of life. What is Infi doing in the meantime? Presumably the same tech that he and TH have been running. Namely, Blood Mage, Tier 3, Paladin, Siege Engine, Knight, maybe Breaker. TH skipped the Breakers, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Ten mana for a blink. He needs two blinks to get across the pond, over the tree. Warden on the war path. Two workshops, one sanctum. It's gonna be gunpowder. Siege engine times two. Access to priest or breaker. And eventually maybe knight as well. While wow, human tries to creep. In an interview, Infi said, human mostly makes siege engines to buy time to also get creeping done. Malayat's creeping continues ever onwards, steadily, as he found Pendant of Energy, which is huge. Very useful for the Warden, but he has no space to pick up another item. He needs a second hero to hold infantry slots. Does he drop the circlet to pick up whatever that is? I don't know what that is. Level 5. He does not pick that up. He leaves it to the alchemist, which makes me feel like it's a health stone. Or... Healing? No, it's not healing ward. What is it? Yeah, health, health bot. Sorry, I mean health bot. Because he already had one. Like, I feel like he would have picked up a mana pot. Leaf scroll of the beast, leaf greater your pot. Fan of knives on the blood mage, she drops low. Zeppelin action. Siphon, disjoint. Warden, fan of knives, but invul. Perfect timing. The fan of knives stole the level 5 creep, I believe. As Scourge Bone Chimes comes out for the Mountain King. That's really good, actually, against. Oh, the bolt dodge! No esports head shake this time by Lolliot. He finally got what he wanted. Infi, no esports e head shake either. He got the blood mage now. Siege engine starting to get produced. 
panda? Oh, it was panda. Did I say alchemist? Did I say anything at all, actually? But it's panda. Pandaren brewmaster. He reskilled to bolt clap. Clap, of course, to kill wisps. Oh, detonate. Nice. Removing the chance to clap. He would have had enough mana now. Siege, engines. Should get Zeppelin in the way now. This is the semi-finals, Posians. I said Alchemist. Yeah, sorry, it's hard to tell. In these graphics. Paladin comes out. Lawlight staying at 50 food. Has been brought back to a one base economy. Has the two bases. But a one base economy. Scourge Bone Chimes will be very useful in the future. When knights come into the field. Good item for Infi. Panda trying to creep to level 3. Health stone, greater heal pot, greater heal pot. Can't say Lolliot's heroes won't be safe. Many Ancients of War being produced by Lolliot at the expansion. Siege tank drop now at the main gold mine. Many wisps are here. Seven. On call. Ruined bracers on the panda. Not bad. Mud golem. The old technique to counter siege engines is muddy. Surprised Foggy didn't know it actually. But maybe because he was not an active pro player in 2007 when it became popular. It was all mass tanks in those dark days. Nice fan of knives. It was all mass tanks in those dark days. And it was World Elite IGE Soju that popularized the popular response. Would be a bit weird if he depopularized the popular response. Well, I guess it's possible as well. But he popularized it. Ancients of War, Mud Golem, Shredder maybe, and Bears and Talons maybe. But the Mud Golem was key. Two food. It can slow siege engines, which reduce their damage output. It has normal damage. Not much, but still decent. And the major drawback of Mud Golem is that it has low health. Which, obviously, siege engines do not affect at all since they cannot attack ground units. Warden is level 6 with Avatar of Vengeance. Block on the Stormbolt with Anti-Magic Shell. Fire Breath. Fan of Knives. Siege engines on the tree. He has to uproot the tree if he wants it to survive. Does he? He uproots the tree. Repair with five wisps. Now he needs to eat a tree. Fan of knives. So much damage. Is there another fire breath? Will he use it on the tree or on the siege engines? Ancients of war defending the mother tree. And fire breath kills the last siege engine. The other two, town portals alongside with Infi, who has a cannon tower. I think cannon tower is one of my favorite models in Reforged. It looks really, really good. I would... I would take the Cannon Tower Reforged model in Classic. And you can keep the rest, but just just take the Cannon Tower. Panda level three and a half. Creeping a little bit more. Most of these creeps don't give a lot of XP and Panda was not around for all of it. But now he is around for this. What does he get? Thir oh, they clicked him away. So you can actually blink over the forest here. Over the water. TP out. Oh, he's defending the tanks. Avatar on guard duty. Fan. No magic shell this time. He just wanted to start early with the fanning. Infi this time doing a 50 food game. Trying to force enough towers in the top right while using tanks to buy time. Lolliot looks significantly more solid than Foggy on this map. Very good fundamentals. And you can see that Lolliot focused so much on defense and creeping even as he was getting his counter expansion and tier 3 Foggy played one very long game on one base 
and he neglected defense in another game. But Lollai had focused on the counter expansion slowly from a smart position and creeping. And he got his level 5 warden just from creeping, not from peasants. But this is what happens when you get Lollayet, the number 2 in the world, to perform this strategy. It's going to be more effectively grounded with good habits. Anti-Magic Shell block. Did you see there's a delay on Anti-Magic Shell appearing in Reforged Graphics? The bolt clearly landed on a non-green warden. I was surprised it got blocked. Wondered what it got blocked by. It actually appears quicker in Classic. Those are the kind of changes that are not really okay for gameplay. But uh, yeah, he blocks the bolt with magic shell. A bit of lag. I'm just going to quickly reset my stream. I broke it. No, it's going to come back. Yeah, Lolai got so good recently. 80 food for Lolai. It's Infi saving up on 50. He got as much creeping as he could. But Blood Mage is not level 3. So he doesn't get that high level siphon. Warden. Ports in. Oh, backstabbing the peasants. Right over Infi's head. As the Avatar of Vengeance summons multiple little spirits. To kill the final peasant. But it's dying quickly. It's dying so quickly to Gar Tower and Cannon Tower and Arcane Tower. But Lolai's force is indomitable. He has one staff of preservation on the panda. I don't know where the panda is right now. Warden with the chase. Avatars attacking the town hall. Little avatar spirits. They're invincible and undispellable. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's like brute lords on overdrive. I see two cults. They want their in by unit back. Invincible, undispellable, untargetable, and resummonable. So long as the avatar, the main avatar of vengeance, does not die, those spirits only have a timed life they need to worry about. Every race has one invulnerable unit. That is not true. One invulnerable unit? No race has invulnerable units as far as I know. You're thinking about ethereal? That's not invulnerable. Anime dead. Yeah, undead has anime dead. Scout Owl? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just Orc doesn't, right? Well, Big Orc has all invulnerable units, except one. <laughs> Paladin D-Shield? Yeah. Shadowhunter is not an invulnerable unit. Every unit invulnerable. Cannon Tower targeting the Avatar! And he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Infi started his big money pump. What? I wonder what it's gonna be. Knights. Breakers. And siege engines. Yeah, it's knights and breakers. I wonder if he's still making siege engines. Because he still wants that third base. Panda and Warden still have all of their greater healing potions. Fully stacked on items. Warden, Magic Cell, comes in again. Fan. Zeppelin to save most of them. She's, is she gonna burn a heal pot for this? Nah. Siege engine's coming in again. Warden is boltable. He wants to dodge the bolt. That supreme confidence in his latency control <laughs> and reaction speed. Infi a little bit supply blocked. Militia once again to the top right corner. Warden has a beeline to the gold mine. 
but feels like he needs to join the fight. Mountain giants are here. There's a tree of life here. No, that's tree of eternity. It looks freaking tiny. Wait, maybe it died before and got remade. I don't know. Panda siphon, but it's only siphon level one. It's a big deal. Siege engines going for the moon whales. Fan of knives, fire breath. The light's army looks big indeed. Mud golem has died. Mud golem has died. That's uh, a non-important game message. That's just uh, a platform message. Is there a big ping for Korean players? No, not that much. Maybe 50, I believe. Dryads don't do too much damage on siege engines, but Infi did force an expansion during this. Wait, is he gonna lose that Moonwell? No. Yeah! <laughs> three, three upgraded siege engines. Wow, that did a lot more damage than I anticipated. So that's a tree of life. What's walking over? Oh, look at that. The Zeppelin counter fan place. I knew that's the counter. But to see it perform to such excellence repeatedly is really nice to see. Because I've gone Zeppelin peasant before against Warden, but I was always too late. <laughs> of course, I'm not a human main. Nor, nor a human pro. Nor a pro. That's really fast reactions by Infi. Didn't lose a single peasant. Panda with the drunken brawler. 7% chance to critical strike. <laughs> Sag. Nor human. <laughs> that escalated slowly. Both players now with the third base. Now that Infi has it, he's not investing a lot in towers Infi anymore. One. Never mind. <laughs> Tower. Oh, roared hippos. Oh. Can I get another blink, please? Thank you. Just flying with hippos over the towers. Who's in the lead? I think it's Night Elf or? Yeah, it should be Night Elf by a really good margin. Night Elf Warden is level 6.9. Once she gets that, Blink cooldown gets reduced significantly. I believe from 10 to 3. Seconds. It's only allowed that way, Ruffle Sloth. Paladin dropping low. Oh! He's going for the tree. He he can get it. He absolutely can get it. How many losses is the only question. Clap. And he got it. No losses yet. Law Lyot is in the lead, I said. And I do believe that still. The hero levels are the big indicator for it. But he did lose his tree of life. Has money to remake it though. 5.6k gold left in his natural. Which should be more than what Infi has since he expanded earlier. Then again, all the peasant harass. 3.2k. Okay. Because of the slow pace of some Warcraft 3 games, when you compare it to StarCraft 2, especially Legacy of the Void. You need to remember that even when you kill many peasants. Many games don't run out until gold mines actually fit. <laughs> Four health staff of sanctuary with all the peasants. That's one way to save the peasants. Man, that's so sick. Because he would have fanned and killed all the peasants. That's amazing. Infi. But anyway, many games of Warcraft 3 don't end until the gold mines are depleted. So when you slow down someone's gold acquisition, you're removing mostly opportunity cost. Oh, this is cool too. He knew it's still gonna be there in healing. Wait, where are the peasants, Monkaius? Holy crap, all the peasants died? <laughs> no. 
But then where did the XP go? Does Warden only go to level 7 from 6.9 from 5 peasants? They landed on the roof! There was a pointy parapet! Oh, he reskilled to... Oh, no, no, he has Drunken Haze 1. Brawler 1. And Fire Breath 2. They're safe inside the keep, don't worry! <laughs> The castle has a 4x4 footprint and staff of sanctuary lands ground units around the castle but the zeppelin runs smack in the middle so apparently a 2x2 surround on the zeppelin is enough to see all occupants fall to an untimely death Ah, there we got the talents, see? The Korean ancient ways have not been forgotten Channel your inner W-E-I-G-E -E Soju play Mud Golems, Ancients of War, and Druids of the Talon. By the great winds I come, as Fairy Fire reduces the armor on the siege engine by some, which is quite useful. Hippogriffs have been truly invaluable. Don't lie, it's blinking to break free from the siphon. Tries to dodge whatever next bolt comes with Blink. He has Magic Shell Potion. Just hit Numpad 8 if a bolt flies in your face. The Ring of Protection did not block the bolt. Feedback mana on the Warden. Loses 4 mana per hit or so. Staff on the Warden. She heals up. She shoots. She scores. Where's the Warden? So many knights are dying. Fire breath. Panda's level 5. Is Warden healing up yet? Not yet. He wants to heal and staff back into the fight. Oh, there she is. Back again. Kills the paladin. Has the magic shell. And blinks out. Lol, I it. It's probably taking us to this, the fifth map. Level 7.3 on the Warden. 5.2 on the Panda. And Blood Mage is still not level three can you imagine having to play a razor sharp game where you spe specifically focus so much on unit preservation that you don't let someone's second hero get level three i think that's the really incredible part of this game not how many peasants he kills not his macro management his defense to the siege engines but that he didn't let blood mage get level three that shows an overall game management that many people would say sir to, or madame. My respect for that is boundless. Martyrs coming out, trying to help against the Dryads. Blood Mage, Staff of Sanctuary, hit it once or twice. Ah, Blood Mage 3. <laughs> but it's dead. Infi actually took the food count uh, lead, but it's only because Lolaid is saving lots of money. 2k gold, 6k lumber. By this time, he would have satisfied most campaign mission requirements. Many knights are going down. Panda level 6. He has no mana pot. GG. Infi taps out. We're going to a map number 5. Hell yeah. 2-2. Two, two. There we go. I really thought Lolite was going to lo uh, lose this one. With all the head shaking and tilting he's done, I thought he's gonna freeze the machine. But his fundamentals shone through. The early game mistakes only served to anger him. Very impressive memory, Wyrag. Yep, all the other games are today. I've been a fan since 2003. I... I can tell. I really wonder what these people are doing these days. Sweet, Rain, Ghost Up, Fav. Lolaid is quite an emotive player on the webcam. Look at that. It's, uh... 
be musing. I will never assume anything about his mental state or his readiness to fight again from his expressions. That's projection. This is Lolliot. Did they switch positions? Yes, Lolliot traveled to China and is now in Infi's house. And Infi traveled to Lolliot. It was just easier that way than the production swapping their camps based on their starting position on Echo Isles. But that's a nice thing that uh, production does actually. They make sure that they align the over. They actually start the game, then they pause at zero seconds into the game. And uh, they make sure that the player is on the side that they spawn at. <laughs> Lolliot is really into it. <laughs> so I want to tell you what Infi has done so far. <laughs> Infi went for an immediate militia to the mercenary camp. Had there been an ancient of war there, he would have used his peasant to wake up the creeps maybe and mess up the Ancient of War. There was no Ancient of War because Loliath is maybe familiar with this and would not want to do that. Oh! No Warden! It's Keeper! Oh, there's so many cool things happening so far! So, after he sees there's no Ancient of War, he can't wake it up. He instead makes a farm there so that he continually keeps a presence on one of two locations that you could in the future build an Ancient of War or a Tree of Life. And then he makes a second farm to see anytime Infi, uh, anytime Lolliot would leave uh, his main base from the south side. These farms are here and they are there easily killable. And if you do this without knowing why you do it, then you'll probably lose your farms in a ladder game against someone you don't know and it's like, well, it sucks. I got my farm skills and I got supply blocks. But everything these players do is so important that there's never time to kill a farm, even when they're in this position. Maybe Night Elf will eventually build an Ancient of Wonders next to one of the farms. And he can only build one next to the one at the uh, higher side. And then it will eventually kill the farm and that's fine. But Infi is spreading farms everywhere. Infi went for Mountain King first, I believe, in anticipation of Warden play. Just like last game. But it is Keeper of the Grove. And I would, if I had to guess what hero is Loliath going for, it would be Warden. He won with it last game, it's 2-2. EINTS typically follow the same game plan, especially when you win one of them. And I expected Warden, but it is Keeper. Force of Nature first. Tree and Harass. He's gonna get burned though by the tower. How many peasants will go down? There goes one, and he will get another if he focuses well. And he does. One more hit, and the final hit, and he gets it. Two peasants. Okay. Triple farms on the map by Infi. He gets Ring of Protection plus four. Now, Keeper against MK is interesting. MK feels better for 10, 20 seconds in any fight. Bolts, claps make a big impact. But after that, he doesn't have Brilliance Aura to help his Troll Priest. He doesn't have Brilliance Aura to help his own Bolts and claps. And... Uh, you know, I would think that Mass Huntress all in is better against Mountain King than against Archmage. I would expect him to go for something like that. It may not have worked out definitively on Amazonia. In fact, it didn't work out at all. He made a shop and cancelled it to wake up the creeps early. But he is going for Mass Archers. And I, I don't have much experience casting or watching Keeper first against... MK first. There is an aggressive Ancient of Wonders. I believe he'll pick up a Naga Sea Witch. He crept to level 2.7. He never showed himself on any of the farms, mind you. Think about it. Infi's three farms never saw a unit. 
He knows, Lolayet has not been in the bottom left quadrant of the map, almost for a fact. There is one way which is inefficient pathing. Look at my mouse cursor over Lolayet's face, follow it here. If Lolayet walks like this, he could have made it to his expansion. Who would walk like this? Nobody. A crazy person. So Infi knows there's nothing bottom left. Nonetheless, he checked with his Mountain King. Weird. It's as if a snake. That's true. That's true. It's as if he expected that he l momentarily lost minimap awareness. As it's as if he momentarily didn't look at the minimap. And he recognized, yes, this is a mistake, but I'm going to check anyway to be safe. It's an all-in again. It's the same all-in as on the first map of the series. Ancients of War, double shop. Ah, sorry. Ancient of Wonders, double Ancients of War, and maybe a Moonwell. Thunderclap level two. Frost Arrow to slow him down. Nice split. Thunderclap. On two archers only. Nice split by Lolayet. Ancient of War getting attacked. It's 99% of the way done. Can it get repaired? No. Detonate times two. No more mana on the Mountain King. Where's your brilliant aura now? And no water elementals to save him. One Ancient of War finishes with Nature's Blessing. Treants have five armor. Ancient of War, seven. Towers are on the way. Guard Tower with 20%. It's getting focused by archers. And it goes down. Almost down. Focus on the MK. This looks very good for Lolayet. The mind game by Lolayet of opening heroes. He didn't go for the Merc Camp. So that peasant, despite making all those cool farms, means less mining for Infi. He didn't go for Warden, so it's not a macro game. If human could have their pick against an all-in, they would say Archmage, not Mountain King. Lol Lyot in the mind game of champions seems to have picked well. The Ancient of War is still here. Tier 1 still for Infi. Guard Tower coming up in the very far back. And nothing yeah, here at the natural. Just, Just an arcane tower. Mountain King is the big story here. He cannot heal effectively and tango is available and tango on the mountain king staff of teleportation he goes to the back there is no arcane vault there is no hope ancient of war in the worker line is this how infi goes flushed down the drain by a cheese of archer all in keeper naga it seems like it it's hunting season on militia and footman Law Lyot, long in the shadow of moon. Is this his moment for glory? He takes down the arcane tower. More mercs scramble to the defense of Stromgard. Call to arms. Militia are running. The troll priest left behind, out of mana, out of a will to live, and out of hope. Falls down. Infi, 33 food. Doesn't have a lot of money for mercs anymore. No arcane vault. Mountain King, enough mana for a single clap. That's it. The wisps continually mana burning the Mountain King. It's an expensive endeavor. Not getting any XP for that. Lolite just making sure he doesn't get owned by clap. Clap could just turn the tides. There is an arcane vault here now. Ogre Mauler. Infi with a small sunshine of hope. Perhaps I spoke too soon. He got double clarity. Detonate comes in once again. 150 mana left. He gets the clap. Even one clap is a big deal. All the detonates on the priests on the Mountain King. Maybe too many even. A panic move by Lolias. The stabilization. Infi now looks to be holding. He did get the Arcane Vault. Not enough economic damage afflicted onto Infi. And the Ancients of War had fallen. And Tangle now on the Ogre Mahler. Level 2 and Tangle. Level 1 and Tangle. 
the force of nature with three triads. More clarities. Lolayet needs to interrupt these clarities. They are the fount of power for Infi. He cannot keep detonating four to five wisps on the Mountain King to stay his power, to stay the execution at the hands of the Mountain King. In he comes. Has a clap. Ancients of Wars come in though. Guard tower firmly rooted in the back of the base of Infi. Not easy to get to. He's now 40 food. He's equalized. Still has that double base economy. Tree of Ages plodding away at making wisps. He needs as many wisps as he can. And anytime the Mountain King comes with more mana, and he's got it. 250 mana. Bolt on the mount on bolt on the keeper. That might have to be a TP! The clap would have killed him. One archer goes down to militia. Second archer goes down. Third archer goes down to a thunderclap. And the town portal. This gives Infi much needed time to destroy the ancients of war. To clear his base from pesky night elves. And the wall of meat that Lolai had so desperately needed to bring up the front for his archers. More clarity potions on the Mountain King. I feel like if he gets any more clarity... He will find transcendence and start to levitate. Inner peace, but not for Lolias. Turmoil in his spirit as his Moonwell and Ancient of War, Ancient of Wonders, are getting attacked. Mountain King at level 4.7. The hold seems to have been made. Lolias detonated. So many wisps, there is no way back out. The farms reveal the truth of Lolayet's situation, of his desperate state. No counter expo, no tier 3 this time, no mountain giants. Infi knows this. And a second Ancient of Wonders comes out you now with the encore that no one asked for. The encore as Lolayet with one final dance goes for the expansion. Archers. Force of Nature going on the Arcane Tower. The Mountain King at 4.8. More Wisps coming in, but it's only two. Detonation. Two detonates. There is no second clap, but defend upgrade. Shields forward and march. March for Stormguard. March for Stormwind Keep. As the Mountain King clarities once again. Force of Nature going down. That could be MK level 5. Will he go for Clap? Will he go for Stormballs? Probably Clap. There's still a lot of archers. Not greeting out for the hero kill. Another clarity. As Mountain King hides in the back to safeguard that. Which he knows is the instrument of victory. So many peasants here. If you're happy... And you know it. What, Infi? What? Keeper going with the heel scroll. The final assault. The last stand. The <laughs> you have died. Mountain King. One wisp. Four more wisps coming in. He's gonna use his units maybe to take down the wisps. No, another dead. He claps a single wisp. Three more come in. No mana left on the MK. A second vault is being constructed. Those were the final wisps. These are the days of our lives. Arcane Tower goes down. Infi truly is an incredible player. The hold like this after I thought he lost the mind game with MK against against Keeper. But he has held on. Fast expand all five games. Coming in with a clap. Mana pot, heal pot. He's guzzling them at this point. Stormball, thunderclap on the Naga. MK getting attacked. MK town portals. With a heal pot and a clarity and a mana pot. I think Mountain King has a drinking problem. Law Lyot's Ancient of War uprooting. Getting repaired. Soon maybe they will repair it. 
Yeah, he is repairing it. It's not that obvious in Reforged graphics. It's very obvious in Classic. He is repairing. Mountain King ports back in. Has a Clarity Pot regen scroll, Heal Pot Mana Pot. And making his altar once again in his main base. Mountain King level 5.8. For Kash Mordan! Would make him magic immune. No frost arrow. And no stormbolt. Uh, and no entangle, I mean. Or he could go for bolt three and focus the keeper for great justice. Keeper has only got the shirt he's wearing, not a single item to his name. Stormbolt. Clap level three. Could clip the wisps before they detonate him at max range. And he just gets detonated. Archer goes down. One kill away from level 6 Mountain King. Invis potion, heal scroll, invul. Mountain King comes back for the encore. Did he just... Oh, just got detonated. One more kill, that's all he needs. The Archer, level 6! What do we get? Kajimodan. Or Bolt. He gets Bolt level 3. Surround... No TP money. He's 60 gold short. Heal pot. The keeper. The keeper has fallen. No. What? How did he get money for a TP? He sold Archer production. He sold Archer production. He TPs out. The keeper gets away with four life. The Naga is back. The boy band is reunited. But there's much better bands out there. I personally like Avatar of the King of Mountains. It's a great boy band. And the Keeper Naga is just their has beens. No one asked for this reunion. Infi's on the way to tier 3. And Loliath is on the way to certain defeat. He's trying to get Keeper level 5. Finally killing those farms. Finally killing those farms. And he does supply block Infi. Reminds me of that scene in Top Gun. I've come to rescue you. Come with me. I can't. No, Hot Shots, not Top Gun. Hot Shots. These days Tom Cruise is funnier than Charlie Sheen. But back then Charlie Sheen was funnier than, than Tom Cruise, so... Hotshots, come with me, I've come to rescue you. I can't. Why not? They tied my shoelaces. The bastards. Blood Mage comes out. So yeah, he's supply blocked, but he's 50 food and he's got two bases and he's gone to tier 3. Keeper having the best day of his life, living his best life. Mana pot. All right, who wants some? Ah. Ah. He shoots, he scores, and he runs, and I cry. Glorious Samantha King. Infi's just. <laughs> He's just. Uh, I don't know. He's just enjoying this. Tier 3. I mean, what is he supposed to do? Pump mass footman for a defend push all in? Rifle suddenly? <laughs> I mean, they have to play it out. Otherwise, there's going to be a bunch of people that message them on social media and say, why did you leave? Like, lol, why did you leave? You still had a chance. I don't get who won. Like, who just left? I don't, I don't get why it's over. He still has his heroes. <laughs> uh, but I mean, that's gonna happen. I'm not even joking. It's gonna happen. And I agree, you should stay until the end. But I, I've stayed so many games where people didn't think I had a chance and I did. But this is not one of them. And still you need to stay. Just for the goodwill of the fans. That's showmanship. You should have it. Marksmanship is coming out. The third Ancient of Wonders, if not the fourth. You need to... It's part of the grieving process, okay? <laughs> There's a lot of grieving there. 
This is part of the grieving process. You let someone get used to the fact that this is going to be over. They need to see the heroes dying. They need to see the archers dying. They need to see the hopelessness of the situation for them to understand. <laughs> and now I understand that you truly lost. Mountain King clapping the archers. I want to see a bolt on the keeper. I want to see a clap. Maybe the Naga. The blocks on the Naga. Stormbolt. Clap. GG. 3 2 for Infi. One human in the grand finals. What a great series. It really was. Even if this end was a little slow. All good, man. Great play by both. Infi. A sigh of relief. What a competitor.